My eyes are blue, his are brown, but they're the same. By Terry Dolly Domestic calls are the worst, especially violent ones. Maybe because I'd witnessed so many in my own home, when I was too young to do anything but cry with my siblings, and hope our father didn't pull the trigger on the gun he held at our mother's temple, or glide the blade of a knife across her throat, while straddling her chest, pinning her to the floor, when the fear in my gut would sour, and the bitter bile of helplessness would coat my tongue. And even though the walls of the housing projects we lived in were no more than glorified cardboard, rarely did our neighbors call the law. And if they did, another kind of fear would threaten to shake the bones of my skeleton loose as I gazed up at giant men in blue wearing badges and guns and grim faces. And now here I am, one of those giants in blue with a badge on my chest and a gun on my hip, and I'm sure a grim look on my face as I gaze down at a trembling little boy with skin the color of whiskey, whose tears glaze shiny streaks down his cheeks while a sliver of snot sneaks from one nostril. Our eyes are locked on one another, and even though mine are blue and his are brown, they are the same, because I know the helplessness and fear and pain. I reach down and pick up the boy, and feel the quaking of his body in my arms, while my partner gives me a what-the-fuck-are-you-doing look that I ignore and whisper to the boy, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, someday it'll be okay.